Um, just, uh, I knew he'd respond um, and play and compete at a much higher level um, than we did the the previous day. Drake is a a veteran basketball team with 12 games under their belt now, and uh, they're just a they're a tremendous team. You know, they're together, they're well put together, they can do everything, they fight, they're physical. Darren does an unbelievable job, and then with a lead guard like Penn. You know, and and you you look at our we're, we're fighting, uh, you know, to end end of shot clocks, and they have uh, Roman Penn with the ball in his hands and directing traffic, and God love uh, Jew. We got a freshman and a, and a fifth year senior that's new with us, um, so we lost a little poise. Um, the biggest stat is points off turnovers, twenty seven to seven. We had a stretch there in the second half where uh, I think we we're up three or five and uh, turned it over two or three times in a row and it's layup at the other end. So we really defended, fought like crazy in the first half and let our guard down and lost our poise a little bit in the second half. But uh, that's really a credit to Drake and the type of team they have. Uh, also, Jake's got to play smarter defensively. Uh, two really uh, fouls that could have been avoided and he's pretty important to us uh, and to be on the floor. And I thought when he got that uh, that one foul, we had a we had a letdown there a little bit. So uh, I'm happy with how we responded with our effort and competed at that high level, and that's what it's going to take. But there's a lot of cleaning up, a little things that we need to do. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're looking at this glass half full, at least we're talking about small margins and not large margins like we were yesterday. I mean, yeah. um, you know, like for example, what do you tell? like a Julian Larry who's going up against an extremely experienced point guard, very savvy point guard, had a little bit of a lesson today. I noticed after the game, Roman Penn came out and talked to Julian a little bit, which was nice. Um, but how do you, like, what do you, what do you go, what do you, what do you talk to him about to, uh, you know, kind of smooth out some of those things well, uh, to, uh, to get those things fixed? Volume for Roman. You know, I've known who he is uh, for a long time. He's not only a tremendous basketball player, he's a great kid. Uh, and he knows and respects Julian because of of how hard he plays. Roman Penn uh, four years ago wasn't how he is now, and he I think he might see a little bit of himself in Julian. And I appreciate him doing that. I I, I hope he's okay with that ankle because uh, there's not a better guard in the league. And and Julian will get there. Uh, it means so much to Julian uh, for his team to win. That's all that matters to him. And uh, he competes at a tremendously high level. Um, he's still a freshman. He's got a lot of learning to do. We, we, we're throwing him uh, into some crazy situations and who he's had to play against this year. And he's going to improve every day because he works like crazy. He's a film watcher. Um, he's just a special kid and he's going to get there. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, Julian is as disappointed in a loss as I am. You know, I mean, it, it means a lot to him and He's just going to continue to get better. He's got to learn from the mistakes that he made. Five tough turnovers tonight. You just can't do that as a as a point guard. You got to see how teams are uh, defending you and uh, handle it with some more poise. And and he will. There's no question he will. No question that the man on man defense today was better. I mean, Cooper was far better than he was yesterday against Wilkins. What do you think was the difference away from the ball? I I, I thought that the you know the help defense was had more bite to it uh what it, i don't know if it was any adjustments but just what were the guys doing better uh today than they were yesterday yeah, we, we, we didn't do anything well yesterday we didn't we didn't pressure we didn't take anything away our communication was very very poor um our ball screen defense was atrocious um and we still made you know 10 12 mistakes on communication and ball screen d when you're in a ball screen defense the guy on the ball has to make the guy use it. And they work, Drake does a great job of what they call turning it down, not using it. And that's how Penn's getting to the rim. And he still got several of them today. So we were far from perfect, but we did much better. Um, that's a good offensive basketball team that executes very well. We wanted to take away the threes, which we did a much better job on. But you have to communicate, your communication has to be on point. Um, from the start of the possession to the end of the possession. And I thought a, a key thing tonight, Todd, was 
that veteran, very poised team at the end of shot clocks got baskets or they got to the free throw line. And whereas we didn't uh, yeah. get, get, get what we needed to. Yeah, certainly in the last two minutes, that was a big difference. I thought they changed the game a little bit too when they when they pressured on the inbounds passes in the second half. You broke it a few times, uh, but it hurried you up a little bit, probably led to some of those turnovers you were talking about. And, um, yeah. you know, that's another thing that I guess the guys uh, get a little bit of a you, you learning experience from. Yeah, you do what you're supposed to for – uh, 30 minutes and you don't even have a turnover in it, then all of a sudden uh, you have something that affects you negatively on the offensive end and you go down and a different guy takes it out or, or you, the, the, uh, some one guy doesn't do his job. And that's what I'm talking about, poise. And we have two fifth-year seniors that need to do a better job with it. Uh, you, you know, you rely on a freshman there, um, but it's, it's all of us. It's when, when, when things are difficult, when things are tough, that's when you have to – Coach Waltman always used to said say you have to have calmness on offense. You have to be aggressive, but you have to have calmness. And we got out of whack there a little bit. But, again, that's because Drake's pretty darn good. I did think there were some guys, though, who kind of wrote out some of the tough stretches. I actually thought Kobe Barnes – you know, Jake did get into foul trouble, but he did play pretty well today, especially on the defensive end. Um, you know, again, you know, it's kind of a glass half full look way to look at it, but – it is good that he was productive today. And, and Todd, we're going to need that going forward. We really, um, I think, you know, Drake's 11-0, and 0, and they've had, they've had some blowouts, including ours yesterday. Uh, but, but the stats said they didn't have anybody uh, playing uh, more than 26 minutes, you know, because their bench is deep. Um, a lot of good role players. We had Trey with way too many, too many minutes and Tyreek with too many minutes tonight. We're going to have to play our bench, and our pe- bench is going to have to be uh, productive for us and um, uh, along with us being a work in progress our lineups a work in progress as well uh, what did you learn about this back-to-back thing today and how to manage it and stuff like that what, what was the biggest lesson because the two games are so different this game uh, far more intense from start to finish than yesterday's was but what would you yeah but you that, that's that's, uh, that's our fault we we did not compete come ready to go tomorrow and and drake come out and just took it right to us and we didn't we didn't uh, step up, and you have to compete at a very high level in this league against these teams uh, like Drake is doing. They're, they're rolling, so they're plenty confident, um, really like the makeup of their group. And like I say, they are a team now. We're, not, we're working towards being a team, and that's when you can really be tough. You're, you're, you're tougher and you're harder to play against when you're a team. And we had a good meeting last night. We were better today. Uh, we've got to continue to improve, and what I told the guys is, that's how we got to com- – like you competed today, that's what we have to do in practice so we can prepare to win the next one. I feel like this week is really important because I don't know how many practices you get between now and Saturday, but you get a little bit more time than you've been getting. Uh, how do, well, What's the best usage of that time this week for the players uh, going into a tough road trip this weekend? Yeah, I, I thought uh, Ken, our strength coach, and Connor, our trainer, did a great job with them yesterday. We monitor the hydration. Uh, monitor their weights, monitor what they eat and the calor, cal- uh, calorie intake. So I thought we respond. I knew we'd fight tonight. You know, I'd, I'd have been shocked if we didn't. I was shocked yesterday when we didn't. But uh, mandatory day off tomorrow. And then you got your three practices uh, uh, before we head to Missouri State against a supremely talented athletic team that we had a lot of trouble with last year. And uh, right now it's all about us. You know, it's all about us. Uh, we have to lock in on, on on improving the things that we can improve on because there's plenty of, that we have to get better at.